He is one of Scotland's brightest talents on the pitch, and his remarkable rise to prominence in Italy's Serie A has taken the footballing world by storm. Lewis Ferguson's story is one of determination and passion. But while his career so far has been unbelievable, his life away from football has been even better. So how about we dive into his lifestyle, secret relationship, luxury properties, and net worth. Ferguson was born on the 24th of August, 1999 in Hamilton, South Lanarkshire. He is the son of football legend Derek Ferguson, and truth be told, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Ferguson's father, Derek, used to be a midfielder himself in his playing days. While growing up, Ferguson looked up to his father, but didn't stop at that. Seeing that his uncle Barry was also a midfielder back in the day, young Ferguson drew inspiration from both figures, and with the added support of his mom Carol, the stars aligned for Ferguson to become a footballer in the future. Derek and Barry both played for Rangers and the Scotland national team, so it wasn't surprising to see that Ferguson got enrolled in the Rangers Academy during his early years. He then played alongside his talented cousin, Kyle Ferguson. Surrounded by all that influence, his love for the game grew deeper. But while the footballer's father always thought that his son was going to be a holding midfielder just like him, Ferguson's youth coaches decided to play him up front as an attacking midfielder. Starting off in the youth system of Hamilton Academical, Ferguson would later get promoted to the senior squad in January 2018. Our boy became a regular on the team towards the end of that season, successfully replacing Greg Doherty. Before his contract with Hamilton ended, Ferguson had signed a pre-contract to join Aberdeen. Following a successful stint at the end of the 2017 and 2018 season, Ferguson was one of the seven lucky players who got picked by other teams. In July 2018, he made his competitive debut for Aberdeen, displaying his skill with a spectacular Europa League overhead kick against Burnley. Ferguson established himself as an essential part of the Aberdeen team throughout his time with the club with incredible performances and goals, as he helped his team to the 2018 Scottish League Cup triumph. In February 2019, Ferguson's influence grew even further as he signed a contract extension with Aberdeen until 2024. Although he overcame setbacks like being sent off in a semi-final match against Celtic, Ferguson continued to be an exceptional player and was nominated for noteworthy awards like the PFA Scotland Young Player of the Year Award. The 2020 and 2021 season came and saw Ferguson emerge as Aberdeen's top scorer. Following his exceptional performances, Watford expressed interest in the player and offered £2 million, an offer that was immediately rejected by the club. Ferguson then handed in a transfer request but was denied, but not for too long because the following season, he was allowed to sign for Italian Serie A team Bologna in July 2022. Ferguson's impact was acknowledged with a new contract extension that runs through the 2026 and 2027 season, and very recently in October 2023, the Scot was named captain of Bologna. Ferguson has already surpassed the great Dennis Law to become the highest scoring Scot in Serie A, securing his place in Scottish football history books. In his second season in Italy, Ferguson has become a focus of transfer rumors to bigger clubs like Juventus and Napoli. With Bologna in contention for a Champions League spot this season, Ferguson's market value will more than double if he manages to secure European football for Thiago Mata's Bologna. On the international stage, Ferguson received his first call-up to the senior Scotland squad in August 2021, and since then he has made about a dozen appearances for the national team. No doubt he deserves a regular spot on the team, but that's enough football. His life away from the pitch calls for our attention, so we've gotta go. The 24-year-old has been in a relationship with Lauren Kay for quite a number of years now, although we can't give an accurate estimate at this moment, we do know that they've been together for at least five years. The couple's daughter, Lake, was born in November 2022. We occasionally see lovely photos of both Ferguson and Lauren on the footballer's Instagram. During the offseason, Ferguson spends time with his friends and loved ones, traveling to exotic holiday destinations all over the world, like we can see here. Unlike some other footballers who don't necessarily watch much football games during their downtime, Ferguson is a big fan of the sport and spends some free time in front of the TV with his pet dog. Ferguson's life is pretty much like that of any other 24-year-old. His favorite food is a local dish, tortellini and panna, with parmesan cream. And ever since he moved to Italy, the Scot has been taking in as much Balinese food as he can get. Lewis Ferguson says that he doesn't enjoy engaging with the media, or at least his manager doesn't want him doing that. Bologna's manager, Tiago Mota, 
once asked local reporters to stop writing articles about his amazing acquisition, and it's easy to understand why. Unnecessary hype has been the downfall of many young talents. However, with Ferguson's stellar performances, it's been difficult to stop talking about him. The midfielder is addicted to the gym. During the pandemic, his father, Derek Ferguson, tried to get his son to stay at home and reduce the likelihood of contracting the disease. But Derek had other ideas. Considering the amount of money he has made from football, many expect Ferguson to have a number of assets, but our boy doesn't have many fleets of cars or mansions that we know of. However, we've seen him drive an Audi when signing autographs for fans. Lewis Ferguson earns just under 15,000 euros a week, which brings his annual salary to 770,000 euros. Ferguson also made a decent amount of money during his early years at Aberdeen, and while it might be super difficult to put a number on his net worth, we expect that it is over $10 million, including endorsements. When it comes to social justice, you can count on Ferguson to stand up and fight against any form of abuse. Back in 2021, he put up a post and took a break from social media and solidarity with some other important figures in a bid to stop online abuse, bullying, and discrimination. But Ferguson has found himself in a few controversies as well, albeit inadvertently. Lewis Ferguson had an altercation with Alan McGregor of the Rangers back in 2019 following a kick-related incident during the Rangers' 4-2 victory at Pataudry. McGregor was given a two-game suspension. Ferguson was offended by the challenge but handled the situation with maturity and tact. After the tackle happened, I was obviously a bit angry at him, but that's football, he said, acknowledging the intensity of the game and the inevitable nature of such confrontations. Ferguson's cool-headed response was admirable, especially considering that Aberdeen and Rangers were scheduled to face each other again soon, in the Scottish Cup this time. Ferguson's composed demeanor during the build-up to the game was impressive since both players were expected to play big roles. Here's another one. Following his punishment for simulation in a game against Roma, Ferguson's ethics were called into doubt after he was fined 2,000 euros for diving in the opponent's penalty area, despite his outstanding performance on the pitch. Ferguson was penalized for simulation following a challenge from Roma's Nikola Zaluski during Bologna's 1-0 loss against the team. Tiago Motta, the manager of Bologna, also voiced complaints, but to little effect. Robbie Nielsen, the manager of Hearts, has previously denounced Ferguson's antics as blatant cheating. After a penalty incident last season, Ferguson has been accused of diving before. Nielsen, who claimed that such behavior tarnishes the integrity of the game, expressed dissatisfaction that Ferguson's dive did not change the result of the match. These accusations had damaged Ferguson's image and raised concerns about his on-field behavior, with a few fans already being inclined to see him as someone who dives a lot. And that's not all. In 2022, Lewis Ferguson became involved in a controversy after a video of him and Aberdeen supporters getting angry with their team's Scottish Cup loss to Motherwell got leaked. Tension arose between Ferguson and the away fans after a disheartening 2-1 loss at Fir Park as he passed through the Tommy McLean stand, which housed the away supporters. But any true football fan knows that these occurrences are a common theme in the sport and should be seen as such. Lewis Ferguson is now the most prolific Scot in Serie A. Do you see him moving to another big club soon?